welcome back to my channel. Today, look, I'm in a chef jacket. And I'm She's with the chef. chef and I'm in, I mean, like, I really feel like I'm about to be on Top Chef. Isn't she so cute? I'm so excited about this. You know what, I have to tell y'all. So this Valentine's Day, obviously it's around the corner. And all year round, you guys know Mark, you guys have seen Mark. He takes me out all year round. He buys me nice things all year round. And so I decided, instead of, you know, depending on him to plan the date, to get the gifts and all that, I decided, why don't I take it upon myself to cook him a nice dinner and take you guys through the journey because I'm not a cook, I'm not a chef. I love to watch Top Chef and Chopped and, you know, uh, Cooks and Cons and the Food Network, but I am not, no. So I had to bring in my girl, Gabrielle. Chef L, and you know, just to help me out a little bit and to also help us out in building a really beautiful and romantic dinner for Bay. Hashtag Chef and Curls is the name. Hashtag of Chef and Curls <laughs> is the name yes. of this Valentine's Day cookie series. Yes, it so is. You guys can actually, I also have a food blog. You can go to get most of these recipes as well as a whole bunch of others on my food blog, mm -hmm. GabrielleMcVay.com. It has a lot of food, lifestyle, design, all kind of cute stuff. So go over there. The Love at First Bite series is on and Jay's in that video, it's gonna be on there. Yay! I'm gonna teach Jay how to make a steak. And I know everyone like thinks they know how to make steak. And like, I, I don't think like, I know how to make steak. Like the little thin steaks that people be buying, <laughs> and it's like real tough and chewy. I'm gonna teach you guys how to make the perfect steak. This video is also on my channel, it's called The Perfect Steak, and also on the blog. This steak is gonna be a ribeye steak. I got some really thick ribeyes. You can also use some filet mignon. You can also use New York strips. Those are my favorite steaks to use. The key to a perfect steak is butter, garlic, and a whole bunch of herbs. So I'm gonna show Jay how to make some, cause Mark loves steaks. Yes. And then we're also gonna do some lobster and shrimp and all that great jazz to yes. make it real fancy, fancy. and yeah. sexy. <laughs> if you cook it for your booth thing. Exactly. Yeah. So for our menu today, like I mentioned, we have the ribeye steaks. They are really thick, really huge. A lot of guys really like big steaks. I love bone-in steaks, so you can really use like the New York strip, the filet mignon. These are ribeyes. We're also going to pair that with some lobster mashed potatoes. So I have some red potatoes here. I love mashed potatoes with skin on. So we're going to teach Jay how to make that. These potatoes, I learned actually from a steakhouse. A lot of people do lobster mashed potatoes with really great steaks, so we're gonna make that today. And then also have a green. We need a veggie, so we got some asparagus, because I feel like most people like asparagus. I love asparagus. Yeah, especially if it's seasoned really nice with just mm -hmm. simple butter, salt, and pepper. So that's what we're gonna do today. Okay, let's get started. So we have asparagus. Your nail's cute, girl. <laughs> So you're gonna take the asparagus. This is a bundle of asparagus. I believe this was like $2.49 at, um, at Kroger. And so with asparagus, because the, uh, the bottoms can be very like fibrous, we're gonna cut that a little bit with the knife. Yes, right there, where it's like white. So kind of do it like three at a time. All right, that's simple. So now we have some butter. Melted butter, of course, if you're being healthy, you can use olive oil or grapeseed oil, but we're gonna use butter because it's Valentine's Day. So you're gonna drizzle your butter over your asparagus. That's what makes it really good. Yeah, and then we're gonna get the salt and pepper right there. It's a blend of Himalayan pink salt and ground black pepper. Himalayan pink salt is way better than iodized and kosher salt because it's 100% natural salt from the earth. So we're gonna sprinkle that over our asparagus. We're also gonna zest one lemon. Or how do you, just like this? Yeah, so you're gonna put this lemon on top of the microplane. Oh, like this? Yeah. Okay. Is it turned the right way? I don't Hold know. on, turn it the other way. way. Yeah, that okay. way. And so literally just like grate it. I don't think that's the right oh, it's, there we go, that's it, right there. Never done this before. Yes, you better give me some citrus on the asparagus. Okay, and that's good. That's good, just a little bit of citrus. And then we're just gonna rub all of those flavors together. So you're gonna toss your asparagus. So that's gonna have the butter, the salt and pepper, the lemon, gonna marry those flavors all together. And then from there, we're gonna put this in the oven on 425 
and that's gonna stay in probably for like 15 minutes. We're not gonna keep it in too long. It really depends on the thickness of your asparagus, but we don't want limp asparagus. We want it nice and green and still with a bite to it. All right, now we're gonna start on our lobster mashed potatoes. So we're gonna start by cutting up some red potatoes. You're gonna, <laughs> you're gonna start cutting in half and then just cut it in half again. So we're gonna put that in our, our pot that is boiling with water. Be careful. Look at <laughs> There you go. <laughs> Sometimes I just like ease it on in. Just kind of like ease them on in. Okay, I'm scared. Okay. And our pot already has uh, water, salt, and pepper, just to give the mashed potatoes a little bit of flavor. That's the same if you're boiling pasta. <laughs> A labor of love. Oh, wow. <laughs> Lord knows. Do y'all see this this water coming out this pot? <laughs> Again, I love mashed potatoes with skins on. You can definitely peel your potatoes and you can you also Ooh, use what? it's okay. Oh. Just a little water on a little flame. Jade over here playing basketball with the potatoes. <laughs> oh my god. Is that, is that okay? Yeah, it's okay. okay. It's okay. <laughs> there we go. Boom. She's done. All right, we're going to season our ribeye steaks. When you are making steaks, you definitely want your steaks to be room temperature. So whenever you go to the store or they're in the refrigerator, you want to take them out to sit on the counter for about 30 minutes. And this will make sure that when it goes into the pan, it's not cold with a hot pan. So you're gonna season both sides with a large sauce of um, uh, Himalayan pink salt and ground black pepper. You can also use kosher salt, sea salt, it really doesn't matter. I, I try not to use iodized, but iodized is fine, but you kinda want some large granules when you're doing steaks. And that's really all about it. All of the flavor is gonna come from the pan and the butter and the herbs. So all you really need is salt and pepper. Oops gonna pick up our steak. We're putting it in a hot cast iron with butter. You hear that sear? Yes, for that sear. And both of those fit in there. All right, so we're gonna let that brown. The reason you want a hot pan and hot butter is because it's gonna give a really nice brown sear to your steaks. We're going to add some garlic and the herbs to the pan, rosemary and thyme and we're gonna start basting, and that's kinda of gonna infuse our steaks with the herbs and the butter. Depending on how you like your steak, I like mine about medium. Most guys like theirs medium, medium well, if you don't like a lot of pink. So you're going to put your steak in the oven once it's seared on both sides really well. And we're just going to bake that um, just for a few minutes. You can tell the doneness of the steak based on how, I guess, soft it is once you press the steak. Okay, so we're going to take some peeled and deveined shrimp. These are 1315s, which are some pretty large shrimp. Those are already peeled and deveined. We're going to add that to a skillet that already has melted butter. And we're going to put salt and pepper on those shrimp just to give it a little bit of flavor. So once we put that in the skillet, seasoned already, we're going to add some lemon juice and white cooking wine to our butter and shrimp. From there, shrimp cooks pretty quick. So we're going to let that turn pink. That's how you know that shrimp is done. You don't wanna overcook it because then it'll be really tough and rubbery. So while that's going, we're going to go ahead and add our lobster. With the lobster, I'm gonna take a raw lobster tail. I got these at Kroger for $5 each. So if you want some nice lobster tail, Kroger always has some really good large lobster tails for $5. We're going to peel that from the shell. It can kind of take a little bit of work. Usually I just slit it with a knife or a fork. Cut that into pieces, just chop it up. And we're going to add that to our same skillet with the shrimp and butter and lemon juice and wine and that's gonna be for our lobster mashed potatoes. So we can do that all in one just because it's seafood so it doesn't hurt for it to touch each other, just as long as your shrimp is not already done.
All right, so our mashed potatoes are full of Gouda cheese, half and half, butter, salt, and pepper. So Jade's going to spoon those mashed potatoes in our little pot. This is really cute just for presentation purposes. And then we're also going to add the lobster on top of that. Yes, yes. And then we're going to garnish with parsley after that. That's beautiful. So all those seafood juices were just sitting there. Chopped parsley is always just cute for garnish. Those are our lobster mashed potatoes. So of course you want to make your steak really pretty. You want to make it aesthetically pleasing and really cute and sexy. That way uh, your boo thing, whoever you're trying to impress, you're definitely going to get some brownie points if it looks really nice too. Hope you guys enjoy. You can find these recipes on GabrielleMcVay.com and the link will also be in the description box. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned. We're going to be doing another video together. And yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe and make sure you guys go follow Gabby on all of her social media and the blog. This shrimp is good. Oh, Lord. So Jade is placing and plating her steak and mashed potatoes and asparagus on the plate. You want to make it really cute, really sexy. Of course, so your man wants to eat it. Oh, oh wait. <laughs>